I just wanted to tell that the quality of the paint can be very important. You have student grade paints and artist grade paints and um, I always recommend to have some artist grade paints even though they're more expensive. They're really much more uh, pigmented and more beautiful, vibrant than uh, the other colors. Uh, I've taken a sap green as an example. This one is a very cheap, it doesn't have a, even have a brand name, sap green, but it's marked sap green. This one is um, Van Gogh Sep Green, so that is more like student quality. And this one is the Windsor and Newton Sep Green. This one. So I'll show you. We'll start with the cheap one. You can see that it's really opaque and it's a bit of a muddy color, even though they say it's um, Sep Green. Then the Van Gogh. It's quite transparent, but it's less pigmented. But it is quite nice, but you can see it is less pigmented. And then one of my favorite colors, the sap green, it's so beautiful. So it's much richer in color. So you really can see the difference. So now we're going to mix these colors, the No Brand, the Van Gogh and the Winston Newton. I haven't tried it out yet, but I'm um, curious to see the outcome. Often these No Brand colors give muddy colors. So you can see that you can't always trust the label, even though they say it's all sap green, there's a huge difference between these three. So let's in mix in some yellow. This is an Indian yellow, another one of my favorites, very transparent. We'll mix it in with the um, no brand. And then we will mix it with the Van Gogh. I must say I use the Van Gogh often in my underlayers. Because since the uh, cold wax is a layering technique, you use quite a lot of paint and it's a bit of a pity to use all these expensive colors. So I use often the Van Gogh or um, the um, Taylor and Rowney colors as base layers and then in my last layers I use the more expensive ones. This is the Van Gogh. It's a nice color. And then this one. Almost the same, but you still see the difference. This has a bit of more glow to it. And we will do the same with the red, I will just clean the palette and then we will mix in some reds to see the difference. So now we're going to mix in some reds. And it's the complementary color, so we will grey down the green. Um, this is a Neptal red. And we also have to be very careful with the red because it's a very strong color. This is really, really brown. Let's see what the others do. You can see that even the Van Gogh is already much richer in color. And then we take the set green.
So I've zoomed in a bit and you can see the difference between the colors. They're really clear because here you see this very opaque no brand color and when you mix it with other colors you can see it stays opaque and it becomes very muddy because there are a lot of cheap pigments in this one and that's why people get frustrated about color mixing because they buy a sap green mix it with a red and it turns into mud but if you mix these more expensive colors especially this one with the reds it becomes a very rich beautiful greenish gray down color so I really recommend to buy some um, more expensive though um, the artist grade paints even though you can use these ones they're perfectly fine but you can see that this much is much richer so it will help you to get a beautiful end result.